when you have a mammogram, we do have to use compression that um, um, flattens out the breast and spreads out the tissue. Some women may find that a little uncomfortable. Many women don't, they don't have a problem with it, but some find that a little bit uncomfortable. But it's critical to um, doing the mammogram because it spreads out the breast tissue so that the tissue is not overlapping. It's also, um, by compressing the breast, we decrease the amount of radiation we use. And it also holds the breast still for us without breathing motion. So, um, so I wouldn't say it's painful usually. And one thing that we always recommend is that you have your mammogram a week after your period. So if you're scheduling just a screening mammogram, schedule it for the week after your menstrual period so that your breasts are less tender. A mammogram doesn't take long. Basically, it is two views of each breast. In, in general, it's two views of each breast for a total of four views. However, women who have implants or more breast tissue require more views, so that takes a little, little bit longer. But you're only in compression for each um, view for maybe 10 seconds or so, long enough for the technologist to take the image, and then you're, the compression's immediately released. So, I mean, you have to plan to be, um, ha you know, t for it to take about 30 minutes but it doesn't take that long to take the images. It's usually helpful to wear a two-piece outfit so you can just take your top off and you don't, have, instead of a dress, that you'd have to t remove the whole thing. So a two-piece outfit is the best to wear. Um, and then no deodorant is very helpful because it, deodorant can look like little calcifications, one of the things we're looking for on the mammogram. So it's best not to wear deodorant. So sometimes it's better to schedule your mammogram earlier in the day, get it done, and then you can dress as you would.